This is how to do a firmware update uh, with some TC Helicon gear. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to grab your computer. The product that you're going to be updating, I've got the Perform VG. Uh, make sure you've got your power source and you're also going to need the USB cable that came with the, the unit. So here we are, we're at the computer. Um, if you guys want this sweet TC Helicon background, you can just ask me and I will totally give that to you. Uh, we're going to open up our internet browser and I'll make that big and we're going to go to tchelicon.com So I'm also going to put the direct link in the description of the video below uh, but just in case for whatever reason you can't hit that direct link you just go to the website go to support and down at the bottom of this page there is free software so just click that. I'm using a Mac computer, so I'm going to use the Mac version of Voice Support 2. And I'm going to go ahead and download that. So while that's downloading, I'm going to go ahead and start connecting up my product here. So I've got the Perform VG, and the uh, small end goes into the VG, and of course the larger end goes into the computer. So I'm going to let that power up. It's very important that we always have the product plugged into the computer before we open up voice support. So that's why I'm going to go ahead and do that, make sure that power is on. Looks like my download's complete. I'm going to go in there and install it. Clicking through my Mac installer. I agree to everything without reading. Don't do that though. You should always read things before you agree. And install. And my password. Installation was successful. Move that to the trash. All right, so now I have it installed. I'm gonna go to my launch pad on my Mac. And here we go, voice support two. So again, product is already on and plugged in and it's going to automatically show up in my voice support um, system here. So look at that. My brand new VG needs a firmware update. So if your product needs a firmware update, it will automatically show up here and say, you need to do this firmware update. So um, if you're like, well, what is this firmware update? You can hit show details. It's gonna show you the different firmware builds that this product has had, and it's gonna tell you what this update will do. So this update's gonna uh, add the talk tuner function to the switch three or switch six. So. Uh, we're going to hit start update. Um, if you don't go into the screen, you can also um, go here. You'll see a yellow, yellow button. You can just hit update here as well, and it'll bring you back to this screen. So start that update and let that do its thing. Okay, so we can see it updated successfully. High five. Yeah. Okay. So there we go. Now that it's been updated, it's not going to show us that little yellow version of this update icon. So now you're good to go. You can disconnect and we can physically disconnect and voila, all done. Super easy. Definitely recommend that you always do a firmware update uh, and just check in from time to time to see if you need to do that for your product. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please like us. Uh, if you have any questions, throw them in the comments below and please subscribe to our channel and you'll never miss out on these amazing tutorial videos. Thanks guys.